Um, so this is from uh, Christy uh, from Wisconsin. And Christy says, buying a condo versus a home. What are the key considerations? This almost kind of fits in with our HOA thing. What are the key considerations? Also, what structural and other important features to look for when buying a condo? I'm mostly interested in Big Island and Maui. So I thought I'd throw this one on the Maui side of the fence. Heidi, what do you, uh, what do you tell folks when they're saying, hey, you know, condo or home, you know, what are the key considerations that I've got to deal with? Sure. Well, great question. And, you know, when you're first starting your search, you definitely want to explore all your options. And, you know, we just covered this, but I think one of the things to really think about whether you're buying a home or a condominium is understanding the HOA, not just how much is the HOA fee, but what specifically does that cover? Um, what are the house rules? There is some communities and subdivisions where there's lots of rules and there's some where there are virtually no rules and you can do what you want. So I think understanding what type of community that you're gonna be most comfortable in and enjoy living in um, is a good thing to think about. Um, now, as far as what features to look for, that's really gonna be personal to each buyer. Um, a lot of buyers that I work with, view is very important to them, ocean view, and are they going to see the sunset? Are they not going to see the sunset? Um, another feature that Maui buyers tend to look for is photovoltaic or solar, because that can really reduce your electric bill. Um, we have a lot of great sun here, so solar panels are popular. Um, Extra storage um, for surfboards, paddleboards, kayaks. That's something that buyers often look for in a home or a condo. Um, and then outdoor living space is a really big deal for people too um, out here. And then also outdoor showers so you can rinse off when you come back from the beach and um, you don't have to bring all that sand inside. Um, so those are a few things people look for, but I mean, honestly, it's going to be personal for each buyer and each situation and kind of depending on where you're looking. That's just a great litany. Thank you for that. That's a great litany of sort of things that I would have never thought about. And, you know, I've lived here, you know, most of my life and I, you know, I was like, yeah, you're right. We do have an outdoor shower. That's right. Yeah. We do have a place to store. our. Place. Yeah. I never thought about all that. That's, that's a great litany. Hey, is there anybody, a uh, uh, Scott or Dylan, is there anything you want to add to that, that, that Heidi hasn't already mentioned or that we haven't spoken about already? Oh, go ahead, Scott. Yeah. Well, Dylan mentioned it before and it's the, you know, the difference between a home, but there's three things to me for difference between home and a condo. You know, you got to consider constant maintenance or maintenance that you take care of, like the roof and the, the yard and things like that with a home and with a, with a condo, it's, Hey, you're paying the maintenance fee. You're paying someone else to make those decisions for you. Those decisions are out of your control and it's on autopilot. You don't have to worry about it. Um, then there's the privacy independence of a single family home where you can kind of do what you want within your yard space versus community living. Mm -hmm. Association of condo docs are two, 300 pages long of lawyer language. Those are the guidelines and the rules of how that association works and how you have to live within that association. So um, there are restrictions to that community living versus with the single family home, you, you typically have more flexibility. And then it's lock up and leave for a condo or you go away and it's a second home and you're having to work, you know, think about, okay, is my yard guy going? Is my pool guy going to take care of the pool? Do I, is, do I have a roof leak while I'm away and I don't know about it? Those are some of the, the things to consider. From a structural standpoint for condos, associations take care of all that. It's, you're basically taking care of the cosmetic stuff within a condo.